Another question somebody asked me was for some tips on how to fish snows cut. Um, really, I think snows cut in a nutshell is not always fishable depending on what you're fishing for. If you're fishing on the bottom, really the only time you want to mess around with snows cut is like now. If you look at the water uh, in the background here, um, the current is barely running. The tide just dropped and um, now it's starting to turn and come back in, but it's coming in real slow, which is perfect for when you're wanting to fish. So it could be going out slow or it could be coming in slow. Either way, that's the time to fish nose cut. But if you come down here and the water's racing, either in or out, I would say beware, um, especially if you're fishing on the bottom. Now, if you're throwing artificial or something like that, where you're not going to touch the bottom, maybe you're just, you know, trying to catch reds or something like that and you're just running two or three feet below the surface then you may be able to get away with that but if you're fishing the bottom you're looking for slack tide or slowly moving in or out tide as the time to be out here because that's the only time your line is going to stay where you put it when you cast it out there so that's kind of my tip for fishing snow scud other than that when you cast out even when it's slow like this you got to retrieve it fast and hold your rod high always Otherwise, you're going to get hung because there is a lot of structure out here and the same reason that you're getting hung That's also the same reason that the fish are here the structure So it could be oyster beds out there or rocks. I don't know what the whole dynamic is, but um, I've donated my own share of lead to this water as well and um, There's no way around that you're going to get hung when you come out here and fish a snows cut But as the saying goes No risk no reward and um, I think that's true when fishing snows cut. All right, so hope that helps all right, so again, my bait of choice these days are sand fleas. You can see they are very active. And sometimes I'll double up and put two on the hook at once. But um, the same technique would apply. You know, so you would still stick that hook. Well, you would always obviously go all the way through the first one and then come, you know, just through the shell of the second one. But um, that's the bait. You can get these for free um, by going to the beach. And, um, you know, having a sand rake definitely doesn't hurt. Um, so. A lot of good videos out there about that, so you definitely can um, check that out. But um, this is the bait of choice. Um, I can see that the bite is actually slow. The water is perfect, um, but what I found, it seems like that bite is in the morning. Um, so uh, you can see I have three rods set up, and uh, so far, no action. Um, the one thing that I like to do when I come down here too is um, you can see that I created basically a rod prop, uh, which allows me to keep my rods nice and vertical. Um, so, you know, kind of a little project that I do every time I come down here rearrange the rocks and kind of move the rocks out of my standing area so I have good footing but um, you know you don't don't always need rod holders sometimes everything you need is already provided you just need to be creative all right keep watching 